you know, I believe that we shouldn't be so harsh on the transgenders, the transgender community. And I think we should be more harsh on the people normalizing transgenders and the people that enable their behavior, the people that encourage it from a young age. Those should be the people that we transfer that hatred and shame for. It shouldn't be the actual transgender people, because remember, these aren't happy people. These people are mentally unwell. These people aren't normal. That's not me, me, me being hateful. That's me simply saying, who wakes up? I say you're my age, I'm 15. Who wakes up and thinks, you know what? I'm depressed and my depression would be sorted out and totally fixed if I put lipstick on and had breast implants. That's not normal. Why are we, why are we pretending that, that we should have those feelings? The goal should be to have those feelings and go, okay, why don't I like who I am? Why can't I come to terms? Why can't I accept my biological reality? If someone, you know, I see it this way, okay? If a 12 year old girl thinks, oh, I'm really ugly, I don't like how I look, would their parents, would their, po would their school say, yes, you are really ugly, honey. You could get a facelift. You could get some Botox, you know that? Who would ever suggest that? That doesn't make sense. That would be, that would be disgusting, that'd be very cruel. You'd almost suggest those people would be put in jail. If you sent into a, if you sent that kid to a therapist, that poor little girl that thinks she's ugly and she's been told to believe, yes, you are, yes, you are. You could, but you could become beautiful if you get a facelift. You could become beautiful if you get like a butt lift. You'd be like, hold on, that is immoral. That is evil. And so we wouldn't shame that girl for 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 feeling this way. We would try to make her come to acceptance. We should, we would maybe try to get her parents to reaffirm. Not reaffirm, yes, you're ugly, but reaffirm, no, you look beautiful, you know, you, you look great, there's nothing wrong with you, you're perfect as you are. That's, that's how we should be treating these kids or anybody who wants to become transgender. I think when you're an adult and you see it as some sexual fetish and perversion, we should definitely shame those people, those people are disgusting. But a kid who genuinely feels gender dysphoric, dys dysphoric should not be punished. I see it the same way as drug dealers and drug users. I am maybe more uh, liberal on drug crime. I personally believe that, you know, you should be able to do what you want to do. You know, you can, you can if, if you're a heroin addict and you're on the streets and you're homeless, look, you're probably addicted. I feel bad for you. You should be given the help you need. But the person supplying the heroin should be should be put in, put in given a death sentence. Big difference, right? Because I seem liberal. Oh, you know, I'm for legalizing drugs. But the people who are illegally selling, selling to these, you know, not impressionable, but uh, susceptible to addiction and people that are addicted, the people selling them should be killed. So it's a big difference. So when you when we see these teachers uh, uh, sending the kids to these facilities within the school to help reaffirm their gender identity, I believe those people should be punished very harshly. They're grooming children, the same way that a, a drug that someone's selling drugs. Uh, imagine someone selling drugs to children. That would also be called child grooming. Maybe oh, but the kid's addicted to drugs. He loves drugs. And should you give him the drugs? Is the kid actually happy, or does he just like the drugs? Because the kids turn trans. It doesn't help anything. They're still depressed. They're still mentally unwell. They still they're still a big misfit. They they don't they don't feel normal. And that's because to be complete to com to be completely honest, they aren't normal. It's the same with disabilities. You mentally ill kid probably thinks he's weird. No, he is. We don't have to shame him for being weird. We have to be like, yeah yeah because you know if you if you if you got a mental illness, you can't really change that you know. So we should not bully these people. But sure, we they are weird. Doesn't mean we have to be mean, be, be, mean to, be mean to them. They can't change it. It's fine. You know, if someone's genetically ugly and, you know, has a weird face shape, we shouldn't start shaming them for their face. All this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But we shouldn't normalize these feelings. If somebody wakes up and goes, or if a girl wakes up and goes, you know, I, 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 feel, really, I feel really unhappy. I feel really sad. All my problems would just go away if I had a, you know, breast removal. You wouldn't tell a person, yes, that's the solution to all of your problems. Yes, yes, yes. You'd, you'd be like, no, you don't need to do that. You're perfect as you are. So we should just teach people to love themselves. Because if someone wants to become transgender, someone wants to change their sex, then that's not a normal thought. You shouldn't feel like that. You should feel happy and content with who you really are. I see nothing, you know, I, I, it's one of the only things, that certain analogies don't work. I, I'm trying to think like, oh, if, if there's a disabled person, well, yeah, actually, if there's a day, if, if there was a disabled person born without legs, uh, forget these, because these, these are different. These are actual life impairments. You know, if you're disabled, you actually are struggling. There is a, you know, handicap on you. If you're uh, male or female, 
there's nothing inherently wrong with that. You should just come to acceptance. That's who you are. I don't know, because obviously you wouldn't tell someone that was born without legs. No, no, no. Don't have robotic legs. <laughs> That'd be quite rude to deny them access to that. This is a bit different. But we shouldn't reaffirm or affirm those feelings because those feelings aren't normal. Why would we affirm non-normal feelings? Because those because it's never the solution anyway. So when we see these therapists, those therapists are reaffirming and telling, you know, you could go to you could go to doctors and sort these issues out and, you know, get this removed or have that added on. Those people should also be very, very harshly punished, like a drug dealer. Like someone who's supplying drugs to millions of or <laughs> to uh, hundreds of innocent people who actually need help. If a girl wants to be a boy, especially a, a child, they need help. And that help does not require, does not mean that you go and get that. If a, 50, if a 12, 13 year old boy is getting abused at home and he's like, you know what, I think a good distraction would be some drugs. I think, I think if I got some drugs, I'd feel, I'd feel better. I could cancel out the negative emotions. You wouldn't tell them, yeah, yeah, go ahead. That'll, that'll, that'll be the be all end all, that'll, that'll fix everything. You wouldn't say that. You'd be like, no, no, you shouldn't feel this way. Let's actually look at a solution. We never encourage something that's damaging to the person because they feel it's a solution. They might feel like a solution, but it, they may feel like it is a solution, but it's not. So don't give them, don't give it to them. They might, they might be happy in the moment, but once they get it, it's irreversible and they realize, I'm still depressed. I still hate myself. So we should encourage children to love themselves instead of hate themselves. If there was more love in this world for, for ourselves and for others, perhaps kids wouldn't feel gender dysphoric. So it's not normal, let's stop pretending it is. Because when we, when we pretend it is normal, that's when everything becomes available. That's when kids actually do get trapped into these, you know, uh, things of, you know, because the doctors in, in America at least, oh, well, if I just get money for trans and the kids, those people are disgusting as well, you know? They, 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 I mean, they all play a massive part. This comes to the teachers, then it comes to the therapists, and sometimes it's the parents, or sometimes the parents don't even get a choice. Then it's the surgeons. Every single one of these people are complicit, and the fact that we're normalizing it is the same reason that they're allowing and they're doing it to these kids because it's normalized. It's, it's seen as this normal thing, and yeah, yeah, we'll fix everything. So you're totally justified. And we need to realize it doesn't fix anything. They know it doesn't fix anything, and they're criminals and they're evil and they're taking advantage of children. That's how it is. They're child groomers. That's why we call them child groomers. We're not, you know, calling them weird bad names. They are child groomers. That's how it is. Remember, as I said, if a 12, 13 year old girl thought she was ugly, you would not recommend her a Botox or, you know, any of these things. You, you wouldn't suggest that. Because people, people you know, there, and why wouldn't that happen? Because you have to ask yourself, what, what is the solution to actually stopping kids from getting sucked into this and all that? Well, it's, it's the fact that we're normalizing it. That's where the problem lies. Because why wouldn't a 12 or a 13 year old get that surgery if, they thought, if she thought she was ugly? Well, it's because you'd be shamed for giving her it. People would think you're disgusting. People would think you're a child groomer. So if we bring back these, you know, if we, if we bring back shame to the people doing this, perhaps they won't do it. So let's not normalize it. Let's say these feelings are not normal. These, it doesn't have to be this way. You can accept yourself and you don't need creeps to groom you, whether it's on the internet, online, anything, into becoming transgender because it's not normal and it's, not, it's never the solution to your mental health problems.